The movie commences in the Cretaceous period, with various creatures hunting smaller animals. A T-Rex then pursues the small yet lethal dino predators known as snappers. Suddenly, the megalodon emerges from the water, attacking and devouring the T-Rex before dragging its lifeless body underwater. In the present day, Jason Statham's character, Jonas Taylor, emerges from a shipping container on a boat navigating the Philippine Sea. His mission is to thwart a group of individuals disposing of toxic waste into the ocean. After gathering information, he confronts and defeats the wrongdoers. Subsequently, he leaps into the ocean but is rescued by Mac, Cliff Curtis, and Rigas, Melisanthi Mahat, aboard their helicopter. At a marine institute in China, Wu Jing's character, Jiuming Zhang, tests an underwater exosuit. He is the uncle of Mei Ying, Sophia Kai, and brother of Suin, who recently passed away. Jonas has stepped in as a parental figure for Mei Ying. During an institute event led by Jiuming's business partner Hilary Driscoll, Sienna Guillory, Jiuming pays tribute to Suin and their late father, vowing to carry on their oceanic research legacy. Jiuming also presents Heike, a captured megalodon seemingly responsive to his commands. Meanwhile, Jonas notices a suspicious figure named Montez, Sarago Paris Manchetta, observing him at the event. Jiuming attempts a test using a device to deter Heike with specific noises. During the second attempt, Heike appears unresponsive, causing concern among the crew. However, Jiuming safely returns to the station. Jonas voices his worries about Jiuming's recklessness and the unpredictable behavior of Heike. When the crew leaves Heike unattended, it escapes through the vents and swims into the open waters. Jonas, along with Jiuming, Mac, Rigas, and DJ, Paige Kennedy, heads to the MANA-1 research facility for an exploration of the Mariana Trench. They meet another analyst named Jess, Skylar Samuels. Despite Jonas advising Maying to stay behind for safety, she secretly accompanies them. While in a submarine underwater, the crew realizes that Heike has escaped and is joined by two other megalodons. Meanwhile, Montez oversees a mineral farming operation and notices the MANA-1 crew's presence. He destroys the operation, inadvertently killing his own team and causing another sub to crash. Montez reports to Driscoll, his superior, about the need to obstruct the MANA-1 crew from discovering their work. Following the sub crash, the crew members recover and exit the sub using exosuits with limited oxygen. They make their way to the nearby station. Tragedy strikes as one crew member, Lance, Felix Mayer, is attacked by underwater creatures and another, Sal, Kieran Sonia Sawar, falls victim to a megalodon while protecting a colleague. Upon reaching the station, Curtis, Whoopi Van Rom, another crew member, experiences suit failure due to a cracked helmet just before the water is drained. The team initiates a search within the station to find a method of requesting assistance. They activate a video monitor to connect with the station and uncover that Jess, a member of Driscoll's team, has betrayed them. She launches the necessary escape pods and instructs Rigas to eliminate Jonas, ensuring Mayings return. Rigas, however, struggles with this order. Driscoll then communicates with the crew, revealing her intent to appropriate Jiuming's technology for their own operations. To escape, Jonas discovers an alternate sub and endeavors to drain the water from it. However, he loses consciousness and is apprehended by Montez, who holds a grudge against Jonas due to past criminal charges. A skirmish ensues, but Jonas manages to rally the crew onto the sub for their escape. Meanwhile, Mac and DJ observe video evidence of Jess sabotaging the sub and deceiving them. Driscoll's mercenaries pursue them, leading Mac and DJ to leap into the ocean to flee, though they are eventually captured. After a confrontation, Jonas and the crew return to Mana 1 and engage the mercenaries to rescue Mac and DJ. The Megalodons, Megs, start converging on the station. Montez rejoins forces with Jess, his girlfriend. Despite Jess's claim of being behind Megproof Glass, a Meg breaches it and devours her, leaving Montez devastated. As water inundates the station, the crew employs a raft to escape, followed by the mercenaries in their own raft, who soon fall victim to the Megs. As the crew advances toward a resort named Fun Island, Jonas crafts explosive and poisoned harpoons to combat the Megs. Montez pursues the crew with the remaining mercenaries. Nearby, a massive squid drags a boat filled with tourists underwater. Driscoll and her team attempt to flee via helicopter, but are confronted by the snappers. Driscoll and some mercenaries meet grim fates at the hands of the snappers. The crew rushes to rescue the tourists as the Megs appear and begin attacking. 
Jonas, DJ, Mac, Rigas, and Jiuming split up to assist in the rescue efforts. Meiying also joins, aiding in the rescue of people and a dog. The group faces off against the remaining mercenaries, who are dispatched by the snappers after DJ opens a door, allowing them to enter. Mac and Jiuming locate Driscoll's helicopter and prepare to depart, igniting the pursuing snappers with jet fuel. Jonas succeeds in killing one Meg by thrusting an explosive harpoon into its face, but his confrontation with Montez intensifies. A brief altercation ensues, culminating in Jonas dispatching Montez just as a Meg leaps out of the water to devour him. Chaos unfolds as the squid wreaks havoc on the resort, resulting in additional casualties. Jiuming improvises a bomb to incapacitate the squid, and Heike arrives to eliminate it. The final Meg targets Jonas, who impales it through the mouth using a shattered helicopter blade. Jonas, Mac, and Jiuming venture into the water to swim back to land, with Heike in pursuit. Jiuming employs his device to redirect Heike's path, believing she's responding to him, though Jonas suggests she might be following dolphins. The trio reunites with Rigas, Meiying, and DJ on the beach. Jiuming speculates that Heike escaped her enclosure due to mating season and potentially being pregnant. Jonas suggests avoiding dwelling on it, and they sit down for drinks, relishing their survival.